Hello everyone, this video is going to be about the brilliant Persian mathematician Muhammad Ibn Musa al Khawarizmi. So without any further ado, let's check it out. Muhammad Ibn Musa al Khawarizmi was a Persian polymath who produced vastly influential works in mathematics, astronomy and geography. Around 820 CE, he was appointed as the astronomer and head of the library of the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. Few details of al Khawarizmi's life are known with certainty. He was born into a Persian family in 780 CE and Ibn al-Nadim gives his birthplace as Khawarizm. His name means native of Khawarizm, a region that was part of Greater Iran and now is part of Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan. Al Khawarizmi has been described as the father of algebra and algorithms. Al Khawarizmi's contributions to mathematics, geography, astronomy, and cartography established the basis for innovation in algebra and trigonometry. His systematic approach to solving linear and quadratic equations led to algebra, a word derived from the title of his book on the subject. The Compendious Book on Calculations by Completion and Balancing. It provided an exhaustive account of solving polynomial equations up to the second degree and discussed the fundamental methods of reduction and balancing referring to the transposition of terms to the other side of an equation, that is, the cancellation of like terms on opposite sides of the equation. Al Khawarizmi's method of solving linear and quadratic equations worked by first reducing the equation to one of six standard forms, by dividing out the coefficients of the square, and using two operations of reduction and balancing. Al Khawarizmi's second most influential work was on the subject of arithmetic, which survived in Latin translations but was lost in the original Arabic. The Latin translations of his book on arithmetic codified the various Indian numerals and introduced the decimal position number system to the Western world. Furthermore, al Khawarizmi produced accurate sine and cosine tables and the first table of tangents. A related treatise on spherical trigonometry is also attributed to him. Additionally of great importance also was al Khawarizmi's contributions to medieval geography. He systemized and corrected Ptolemy's research in geography using his original findings that are entitled as Sutra al-Arad, the shape of the earth. The text exists in a manuscript, the maps have unfortunately not been preserved, although modern scholars have been able to reconstruct them from al Khawarizmi's descriptions. He supervised the work of 70 geographers to create a map of then the known world. When his work became known in Europe through Latin translations, his influence made a permanent mark on the development of science in the West. al Khawarizmi made several important improvements to the theory and construction of sundials, which he inherited from his Indian and Hellenistic predecessors. He made tables for these instruments which considerably shortened the time needed to make specific calculations. His sundial was universal and could be observed from anywhere on earth. From then on, sundials were frequently placed on mosques to determine the time of prayer. The shadow square, an instrument used to determine the linear height of an object in conjunction with the allodate for angular observation was also invented by al Khawarizmi in the 9th century in Baghdad. al Khawarizmi died in about 850 AD having done works that would end up shaping the future of the world. He influenced medieval mathematicians Fibonacci and Roger Bacon through his crafting of algebra. He has essentially influenced every mathematician since. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then please consider giving it a like and do drop your comments below and do check out my other channel in the description. So thank you all for watching and see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day. Goodbye.